if families are concerned for their loved ones being involved with you, what would you say to them? My suggestion to those families would be to come along to a seminar or two at least and examine what actually does happen at the seminars. You don't have to come along to listen to the information. Come along and just examine what happens at the seminars. Come along and look at the, you know, spend some time with your friend or your family member and spend some time not in concern for them, not trying to push them into doing something you want them to do, but spend some time in their life and just see how they live their life. You will see that the majority of the people you are concerned of have no day-to-day -day interaction with me at all. The reason why this is the case is that Mary and I spend most of our time sharing information in public, either in an interview situation or in a seminar situation or in groups, and we spend very little of our time with individuals because we have very little time left over from spending our time in public to share time with individuals. You do not need to be concerned for your family or your friends because you can easily just come along and see what they're doing at any point in time. And you would see that what they're doing is very, very innocent in the sense that it's all about developing in love, truth and humility. Now, if your family member is emotional, well, what do you expect? They're growing. They're going to be emotional through the process of growth. They are, I'm encouraging people to become like a child with the expression of their emotion. In other words, to honour their emotion at every point in time in their experience. If you're confronted by that, then my suggestion is to look at why you're confronted by that. Because there's no need to control a person with their emotion. Why do you want to control their emotion? Why do you believe their emotion should be controlled? These are all things I believe a family member needs to look at. So my suggestion is, come along to a few seminars, You'll see how innocent everything is run, how, how very open and straightforward they are. If you examine the 700 hours of YouTube seminars, you'll see that every one of them is run pretty much the same way. There's no editing. Everything you see is exactly what you get. There is no subterfuge. There is no deceit. There is nothing to be concerned about. But the best way for you to find that out is by not listening to media reports and not listening to internet forums of people who have never spoken to me or have spoken to me for, to a, for a few hours five years ago, but rather it's people who interact with me on a day-to-day -day basis. And you can be one of those people who interact with me on a day-to-day -day basis and find out whether there is any problems with me. And, and I'm pretty sure, as I am pretty sure with most people who meet me, they feel like there is no problem. <laughs> it's only people who listen to media reports that are false, that are lie-based reports, that are going to feel there's any kind of a problem.